Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Now 911. In LinkedIn, I have shared one poll which is regarding independent CI, which you can see on the screen. The majority of people selected that an independent CI is having no relationship at all. But when I researched all this uh, in internet or asked with some expert, this is not the case most of the time because a particular CMDB is a powerful tool. And what is the main thing which is making it powerful? It is the relationship. Relationship between the CIs and showing the dependencies and all these things is the most important attribute of a particular CMDB. Let me show you the article which I have written on ServiceNow Spectacular. So you can see this is my website, ServiceNow Spectacular, and this is the article. You can also subscribe to this website so that you will get notified as soon as I have written such kind of amazing articles for you. Okay, so let's move here. Okay, what is an independent CI? Just focus on this particular definition. It refers to a configuration item that can operate autonomously and doesn't have any upward dependencies on other CIs within the CMDB. It is self-sufficient for primary functionality. So what does this indicate? It says that a CI, the independent CI is it is self-operating. It is operating autonomously, okay? And it is not having the upward relationship, but it is possible that it has the downward relationship. It means that it is not dependent on a particular CI, but other CIs may be dependent on it. So it means it is having some kind of relationship with other items with other CIs. In ServiceNow documentation, they have given an example of a server CI. So a server CI is a self-operating CI, right? Because a particular server, let's say a physical server is having all kinds of resources with him. And it can operate, it has its own memory, it has its own uh, storage, it has its own RAM, everything is there to operate. It is not dependent on any other CI. But if we talk about virtual machines, if we talk about uh, certain other applications which are hosted on that server by virtualize or by any mean, so all these CIs are dependent on that particular server, right? So we cannot say a particular independent CI is a CI which is having no relationship at all. It has downward dependencies, okay? Not upward, but downward. So in this particular article, you can see all such points in a very good manner. You can understand each and every example here. See, I have given various example like a printer in office, okay? So you see, while the printer has minimal dependencies such as power source and a network connection for remote printing, these dependencies are relatively basic and do not involve any complex interaction with other CI. Okay, but dependencies are there. In the same way, you see your standalone laptop. And finally, I have given one major example of a firewall appliance CI. So what is happening in this firewall? You see, this is the dependency which is properly mentioned here. So it is saying that because it is a firewall and providing important critical security, that's why the other components, the other CI like server CI, workstation CI, all these CIs are dependent on this particular firewall. Okay, But a firewall is operating by its own most of the time. You can also see this important question, can any CI be available with absolutely no relationship in practical? It means in practical it is possible. So this is also explained in a very good manner here. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. I have provided you the crust of that particular article. So I would like you to share your feedback because whatever I have researched, whatever I have like read from other sources, I have understood it and presented in front of you. But if you have any other theory, if you have any other, you know, information to share, please do so. I will see you in next video. Till then, thank you so much. Bye-bye.